The danger of electricity is determined by the relationship between volts, watts, and amperes, and this relationship can be clearly understood using the waterfall model. In the waterfall analogy, voltage is like the height of the waterfall. The higher the water is stored, the more potential energy it has before it falls. Similarly, voltage represents electrical pressure or electrical potential energy available per unit charge. Amperes, or current, are like the amount of water flowing over the edge each second. A small stream falling from a great height may look dramatic, but it cannot cause much damage. A large volume of water falling every second carries enormous force. In electricity, current is the actual flow of charge, and it is the direct cause of injury. For danger, such as stopping the heart, a sufficient amount of current must pass through the body. As little as 0.1 to 0.2 amperes across the heart can be fatal. This makes current the direct agent of harm. Watts represent power, which in the waterfall model is the work done by the falling water each second. A tall waterfall with a large flow rate delivers tremendous power and causes massive destruction. Electrically, watts describe how much energy is transferred into the body per second, and this power results from voltage and current acting together. Voltage plays a critical role because it provides the force needed to drive current through resistance. Human skin has relatively high resistance. A low voltage source, such as a 12-volt car battery, is like water stored at a very low height. It does not have enough energy to force a dangerous flow through the body. A static shock is like a tiny splash of water falling from a great height, high voltage, but extremely small current and extremely short duration, painful but not lethal. True danger exists when high voltage and high current are present together. This is equivalent to a tall waterfall with a massive flow of water. A household outlet or a power line has both sufficient height and flow. Critically, a standard solar array, such as four 600-watt panels producing around 200 volts DC with 10 amps available, also fits this dangerous category. The 200 volts easily overcomes skin resistance, and the available current is many times higher than the lethal threshold. The resulting high wattage indicates a powerful and sustained transfer of energy into the body. Voltage creates the potential path, current causes the injury, and wattage indicates how much damage is being done to the body per second.